Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 45? I don't know. The episode after the last one, and the episode where... This is really where air power is going to have to make a big difference, because we're fighting an uphill battle. It looks like we're outnumbered about 2, maybe 3 to 1. Um, yeah, I mean, at least 2 to 1, probably 3. You count this ship... If you don't count this ship in with it anymore, yeah, 3 to 1 easily. We had a little bit of bad luck, I would say, that we uh, probably even had bad luck not getting enough torpedo hits, but um, those things aside, the biggest bad luck we're having here is that we had uh, quite a few bad hits. I don't, again, don't know exactly what kind of bad hits have happened to our opposing force, to the enemies, to the Americans, but, excuse me, but I know that we've had uh, two things really not go our way. The first and foremost is I mean, the obvious one. The Friedrich de Grossa is no longer with us, and that is because she had a turret magazine detonation, I believe. Magazine hit. And that is, um, that's a pretty rough blow. Actually, I'm not sure if the magazine blow is a turret armor one. I've been thinking about it more, and it might be a belt armor thing, but because maybe it's a penetrate. Hey, it's supposed to be, you know, not a very common event, but we've had a, I think we've already had a few of them this series. So anyways, that happened uh, on a ship which was more or less undamaged. It's never good when it's like an undamaged one when it happens to. The idea now is to get the hell out of Dodge, but unfortunately the other stroke of bad luck is that our relatively intact German Dreadnought here, Sturmbringer class, the Stallernes Umgetum uh, or whatever, however that should be pronounced has taken a big turret, uh, has taken a big uh, critical hit despite not taking any hits really the first one she took was a bridge destroyed and the second was not uh, not a penetrating hit, third was a superstructure hit and the fourth no, sorry, fourth was splinters and the fifth one, sorry, this is the big one is the critical hit damage rover now the, the bridge damage means that usually I think the fire control goes down. You have like a lot of different things. I think a lot of different of the um, items of the crew quality decrease. It's not a good thing. The only thing that I forgot about is that these Stormbringers do have torpedoes. So maybe if we're lucky, and we won't be because these destroyers are in the way and everything, but oh, you do have some torpedoes. But maybe we can get you after the Massachusetts here. I'm just going to try to push them off with torpedoes. We've launched the port side already, I believe. No, our port side is not what we launched, so we'll go back this way. Our goal here is just to survive and wait for the aircraft to get in here and hopefully help save everything. Uh, G86 is already sinking, so now is probably a good time. She's taking her, her hits, her lickings. I think that we'd like to... Fire torpedoes. Let's see where we can launch them. Oh, they're expended now. Okay. So she's lose, used the last of them. She is at least deploying, or was deploying, a smoke screen. I thought she was. All of these guys should be. Maybe it's a thing where they, when you reload the game, they are no longer doing that. Actually, you are not going to do a smoke screen because, you know, frankly, we don't need you to do one. Port side torpedoes, right? Is the port side torpedoes. So I need you to turn. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Turret was destroyed. Ah, there's turrets being destroyed everywhere. <laughs> no, our ships cannot survive anymore. They just, all that happens is they get tons of torpedo, our turret destroys. So it is working though, it is pushing them off, which is the good news. Now, question can you launch torpedoes? I think that friendly ship will be in line of fire. Ah, uh, there's no solution for... Oh. Okay, well, yeah, we'll launch torpedoes. <laughs> we'll be a little bit careful with the Zethanir. She's probably going to launch torpedoes in a second anyway. That's the chance. I'm actually pretty okay with launching... I don't want that one, though. At just, like... 
into the crowd, into the thick of it, basically. I don't think any of those solutions are correct, though. What? Interesting. I don't think that's a correct one either. That's good. Okay, that I can get a little bit behind. And that's just going to force them off as well. Okay, so we're going to start trying to pull out of here. That's the whole point. We need this ship to repair its damage. And it, it has repaired its damage. So you're getting out of here. Flank speed. Just go. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just get out of here. We do have several torpedoes still making their way in. Massachusetts got... This is, that's the Sturmbringers, I believe. No, 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 there's the Sturmbringers. So there's actually a really good torpedo run. Our luck may be swinging here. And it's only a matter of time now before we can get the rest of those aircraft up. Somebody made a good comment. We're full of good comments on those, uh, on the comment section, but a good comment about how you can might want to lead with dive bombers because they might do some damage to the superstructure, so they might do some damage to the AAA. Now, I might as well launch one group of fighters with this, uh, just because they can strafe. So we'll coordinate this strike, and we'll be launching it more or less at the same place, just to harass these ships. I kind of want to make sure that they don't pursue too much, so we'll launch the strike here. And that's just going to clear the ranks anyway, to free up space for the, <laughs> for the carrier to basically... Um, launch the torpedo bombers when, when we have a chance. So those that set of torpedoes was a good launch. And it looks like we're going to... I'm, I'm going to pull back up here with the destroyers. The Sturmbringers down here are doing okay. They're in pretty good shape. I think I'll have the Battlecruiser cut back up north. While the Sturmbringers just continue to rain down pain, but not really, because they're not really even shooting. Um, yeah, we could get lucky with this. I mean, obviously this is good. a recipe for success with torpedoes. I kind of hope that the AI does see your torpedoes, or my torpedoes right now, because we would really like them to continue to run away. And you're actually going to be okay after that worrisome event, so we'll just pull you out at an angle. Massachusetts has taken quite a few hits. Carl Dunn's taking some massive hits herself. She's received quite a bit of damage, actually. Eight heavy hits. Her turrets are all knocked out. Okay, well, it's time for the Carl Dunn's to beat her. She doesn't have any guns to fire, so it doesn't matter wh where her turrets can fire. They can't fire at all anyway. So this is a good time for us to just pull full out, since we're not going to be able to fire guns anyway. It doesn't matter if we're... Uh, keeping them in the proper line of fire or not. Okay, New Jersey was hit by a torpedo. This is a new, this is the new New Jersey. The other New Jersey has, wait. Oh, here she is. Okay, good. So yeah, that's this New Jersey, she's going down. Is she officially going down? Not yet, but you know, we know that she will be getting there eventually. Um, this New Jersey took a torpedo, so that's going to slow her down a little bit. All good things. So we'll get you to do, like, kind of a, a fighting retreat broadside thing. We might zag back as well. I'm just going to continue to try to harass, but here comes the fighter planes. That was also a lot of hits on this Arkansas. She took quite a beating, and... She does have the armor. No, she does. I would say she does not have the armor to shrug that off. 17 inch shells? No, thank you. In fact, 17 inch shells, what am I trying to say? They're probably going to penetrate any armor, especially from anything that isn't built later than 1930. I would say 1930 and later, probably, if it's thick armor, probably does have the ability to stop 17 inch shells. But okay, it's actually, even then, it's pretty unlikely. <laughs> if you remember, the Sturmbringer herself was, I don't think she was armored against herself. And she's pretty well armored at new armor, 12 inch belt, 5 inch deck. So even 5 inches of deck isn't going to do it. Well, you want to fight from further away though. So I might actually lower the deck in the future and maybe raise the uh, belt a little bit since we do, I do have a tendency to fight at close range. I know it. 
I know it. Okay, let's get you to start deploying smoke. As we fear that this kind of thing will happen. And we'll have you go around as well. So they are going to pursue, but here comes our aircraft. We will welcome all the hits as soon as possible. It's This is really going to be kind of like a, a fun mission because we really are, not even without, it, it, like the roleplay is going to speak for itself essentially. We're actually, we actually are going to be saved by the, uh, the um, air, airplanes. They're actually going to save us. And it's also nice to see that we're just really laying down the smack on some of these guys. Well, I mean, I guess it's just a brutal exchange. I mean, the big guns are going off all over the place. Stormbringer takes a hit from a heavy gun. She is riding on the inside since the Carl Dunnitz is pretty much useless. And she is getting a full broadside off as well. No hits on this one. Just buying time. Buying more time. Another hit on the Arkansas, and she's actually turning tail, which is nice to see. Here comes the airplanes as well. That's the obviously the crucial thing. Let's get you to wave back down. And I think that this run has run her course, really, uh, from the from the steel giant or steel monstrosity, whatever she is. I think it's time for her to turn away and for us to just continue to beat this retreat especially because they are coming in so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that we have one destroyer which can go and pretend to harass them um yeah we're, I mean, we're just and we are laying down some punishment which is good three knots eight 16 inch guns You're laying smoke now? Yeah. We're waiting for these aircraft to start doing their thing. Really would like to see it right about now. <laughs> okay, thank God. It's, it's happening. At last, it's happening. So we're going to turn directly away, because if we can't fire guns, we might as well make our profile as narrow as possible. Going to get these guys back from line of breast to line of head, because... There's no reason not to do that, really. And uh, that's it. Okay, get this battle cruiser now to, and here it goes. Okay, so hit a battle cruiser with. Damn it! Not this one. Please don't overkill. This is the one time I need you not to overkill. Uh, we really desperately need you. To actually attack this massive wave that is right in front of you right trailing us and I can actually see from a pilot's perspective not wanting to engage the force which is being engaged by our force but that's the one we need we would really prefer that that one be engaged I just want to check the scouting report there I could have just done it here probably yeah just make sure that there's no carriers reported anywhere in the vicinity I don't even know if this place has an airbase. I, I guess I kind of doubt it since we, I haven't been paying attention, but I don't think we've seen any um, uh, aircraft sightings. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is an actual hit. 16 inch guns, fantastic. Um, no bomb hits. Ah, oh, it would have been on the Rochester. Well, we really could have used that one, but that's okay. We're waiting for the torpedo bombers to come in. That's where most of the damage is going to get done. Some aircraft are being damaged here. They're still on their approach, though, so there's hope. Okay. There we go. Okay, so good. We have the New Jersey. Damn it. The Massachusetts is probably thinking, please don't be the New Jersey. Please don't. Damn it. It just had to be this New Jersey. Okay, well, hopefully they go for this lead formation. I really, really, really hope. Oh 
my gosh, they're gonna overkill. <laughs> no. She's already sinking. And they hit her with three more torpedoes. Why do they overkill so much? Okay. Maybe they've heard my cries. Who did they attack here? Yeah, no. The sinking New Jersey. And at least the Ranger, which is a new target. More aircraft approaching, and also we want to make sure that we are preparing to load the rest of these guys. Okay, so we have some torpedo bombers, one of them, not 15. We'll load, the, we'll ready this strike, even though it's, you know, not almost not worth mentioning. Enemy CV is hit by torpedo. There's no carriers here, so this is a battleship of some kind. It's not the front runner, but at least it's not the ones that have been hammered already, so I'm okay with it. Just gonna keep zigzagging with that one. Okay, they're getting massacred on the far side. Damn it, they keep attacking the ones that are already dead. A fair spread. I mean, if it's one torpedo for everyone, I'm okay with that, but... Are you going back? Okay, you're going back. Fight ship. Thankfully, that's a new one. If they target this one or this one, I'm. those are the two that are already sinking, I believe. Okay, let's move this way. Superstructure fire. My god. Not a whole lot of luck. Guess we could sacrifice this destroyer. What's her maximum speed now? 34, that's not bad. Um, so this is tough. I'm starting to process that they are pursuing with a vengeance. I'm counting one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, seven heavy ships, possibly eight. So eight, let's call it eight heavy ships. One, two, three, to my four, two to one. That is not good. We've already taken a, a fair amount of damage. In fact, we lost um, the bridge off of one or two of these. I can't remember. It's actually worth, yeah, pff, the Carl Dunn's lost her bridge. Damn it. Hmm. Yeah, we need to just keep retreating, I think. Oh, this is... That was such a good hit. Koenig, you were so... You're so wonderful. Thank you. This was really important because uh, that's the lead, and it, it destroyed her, her lead turret, her forward-most turret. That's a very, very valuable hit. And mind you, they have like nothing for turret armor. Their turret armor is like our belt. This ranger had taken a hit by... I mean, I think it's taken a torpedo. The Randolph has got that. Valley Forge. The Valley Forge, I think, is just going to keep trucking. She's in good shape. Rochester is also in good shape. 14-inch guns. That's a little bit easier to deal with. They have a lot of firepower here, but I, I don't know if we're going to be able to just run, since obviously we are only capable of attacking if we're facing them, or at least broadside to them. I will just try to separate them as much as possible, and then, yeah, I guess it's just up to the carriers. So you are really doing a wonderful job, Koenig. Just fantastic. Taking a hit, a oh, waterline belt extended hit. Did that knock her maximum speed down to 25? Okay, we're gonna get turn tail now here. That's enough, and we're gonna just have to, well, do we have to sacrifice this destroyer? I think we can outrun them. I think, because they should move at the speed of their slowest formation. 
I'm seeing 20 knots everywhere. These are capable of 28, 26, 30, 30. So 26 is what I'm seeing then, probably. Maybe this is the ranger they got hit, 26. Well, 26 means that they can catch up, so we might have to deploy a... If. Okay, well, when you're done with your business here, it's good, just keep moving east. How are we doing? Okay, so let's ready the one dive bomber. <laughs> I guess we'll ready everything, why not? Just keep readying them as they come in. And whenever we have a reasonable strike, we'll go for it. Ah. We're just gonna go in. G94 is giving her final messages, sending her final farewells. And here she goes. Threatening torpedoes. Okay. Did get her to break. Oh god. What's your speed now? 32, that's not bad. Oh god, engine room. Oh my god, she's a hero. We're actually escaping. So, if we can, I'd like to... Oh no. Main gun crew cut down by splinters. Oh, she's still doing okay though. So the Randolphs have kind of formed back up, or the Randolph and the Ranger have formed back up here. This is this is challenging. Oh god! Every time my <laughs> carrier keeps moving closer to the action, since. <laughs> To pick up her ship, uh, to pick up a crew. Oh god. So it bought us like a moment of time, but not a whole lot. These guys are crazy. Oh, good. So we're approaching the target. Ouch. Down to 12, okay. Well, they obviously know we don't have torpedoes since they just don't care. If I was. A battleship, I would not want to approach these guys, but it's a different story for them. I think I am just going to go ahead and move north with this destroyer. She's not going to try to move east to get out of sight. They're just going to have to choose what they want to do. Pursue the destroyer or pursue the rest of the fleet. We're pretty sure what they're going to do is pursue the rest of the fleet, but at least this will buy us a little bit more time. Okay, two battlecruisers are taking hits. These are, that's the Ranger, I think? No, that's the Ranger. I don't know what this one is. She took two bomb hits, which is nice. Continue to distract them, basically. Unidentified, ah, no, it's, that's the one that's sinking. Yeah, that's the one that's sinking still. How are we doing up here? I don't know why you're going that direction for so long. I would do not recommend it, personally. Oh, you're back. Oh my gosh. Had to sneeze. Um, we are actually gonna go squad max the moment this, the engines run north. Enemy aircraft are approaching the German division. Okay, well, that speaks to the fact that they do have aircraft out there. We have a nice heavy cap, so I, I actually kind of hope that they approach the... Oh, god damn it. I'm saying that because this carrier turned back <laughs> this direction, when I, I really don't want her heading south any further. So, which means that we're actually gonna have to move this way in order to, I mean, it's almost time. It's almost time to engage these guys. So dive bombers are on naval strike. Well, run, run. She's sinking. Oh, they just bombed her. Two engine dead. Wow. So they just, they did it. She was destroyed by bombs. I didn't see combined AA factor was only two? Wait, what? 
five heavy AA factor. I don't understand why they said that. Huh. Well, that was very effective. I mean, I'm surprised that they had that kind of accuracy. That's remarkable, really. Please stop pointing this direction. Like, please. I don't know what you're even trying to do. I really don't. Are you putting up a cap? Look at I don't care anymore. You're turning back. I don't give a crap about your stupid cap. It can go to hell for all I care. Okay, so what do we have going on here? Um, some not so good stuff. Our last remaining destroyer. So that what? Who is pursuing us here? I feel like we can almost fight this. I mean, I almost feel like we have to. The dive bombers are back, so we basically just need to get these strikes ready as fast as possible. What do we have already? We have 1, 13, 13. We have... It's not much of a strike, but we have something ready. Something is ready to go. I think we're going to have to launch them. Oh, these are not ready? What? Oh, wow, 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 wow. That was a wonderful blast. Who did that? Oh, it's so awesome. They're... I mean, I think we're going to have to stay and fight pretty soon. It looks like we're kind of adopting that strategy. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, we're kind of doing it. Okay, well, we're... yeah, I think we're just going to start... The dive bombers will be back eventually. certainly wish it would happen a lot faster. It's going to take a while for these dive bombers to actually get ready, but okay, what do we have? We have one dive bomber, five torpedo bombers, eight dive bombers, one tor It's enough. Set them, set them up with a cap, I mean an escort, and basically just, you know, the old adage, fire everything. All right, so where are we going to ready this strike for? It's going to go where we are right now. I think that'll catch that. And we will launch. Time at target is 1.30. An hour and a half. My god, an hour and a half. No, do not coordinate strike. Launch. 1.13, 40 something. An hour and 10 minutes? Yikes. It's going to be a long time to... I don't know if we can make it that long, but... Okay, you're back up to squad max. That's good to see. I mean, your squad max is over 20 now. That's good to see. Okay, you're... That's useless. Do not just go like that. Valley Forge hit. So we are doing something. inch guns. I mean, these are quality one 16 inch guns, quality one 17 inch guns. <sighs> and this Rochester is going slow. But she is also catching up. I mean, she's, um, sorry. She's, she's falling behind, but she's not going slow. Sorry. <laughs> How could I have said that so completely backwards? I don't know. But I did. Hey, look, it's the two adjacent turrets damaged. <laughs> that message never gets old. Well, I mean, I guess we got to count our blessings that their only dive bomber attack, I don't know where it came from, all it did was sink a destroyer. Could have been a lot, a lot worse. What is their plan here? Are they trying to back off now?
Okay, let's. I want to keep a speed not 27 as well, so that I always know when she's turning into the wind, or trying to, even though I paused her to report that. Yeah, so some of these ships are turning, but some of them are not. And the more turn, more ships that turn, and the less that are pursuing as a collective, the more my courage is getting up there. Maybe we can win this. Okay, so there is one more destroyer up here. We're gonna pull her off her escort duty. It's very risky, obviously, but we're kind of desperately in need of torpedoes. Squad Max, you go away. And I think we are gonna end up taking some, some hits here. Wow, that was a fantastic shot. The Ranger's not too much to worry about. Yeah, I think we do bite in here. Try to knuckle down on these guys. Uh, that's a collision. Yeah. So this is, I think, a possibility that we could actually... Look, the Carl Dunnis isn't going to hit anything, as you can tell. <laughs> she has no bridge. What is your guys' deal here? It takes like four hours for them to launch. Yeah, they are completely turning away now. I think it's too little too late. We have done a good amount of damage. Okay, there it is. She's finally moving back this way. Oh my god. This is good. This is quite good. Oh, look at this. Air combat. Oh, we attacked a recon plane. So they have now spotted, we would have to imagine, unless it was shot down before it could get the radio broadcast off, but it looks like we've shot down one of their, um, one of their recon planes with our cap. And they are moving away. Okay, so let's start to slow things down now. 20 knots is not like super slow, but it's just gonna be enough for us to kind of stop and collect ourselves. Ah. And you are wounded and you are headed, you are not going to slow down. You are just gonna go at 10 knots. I mean, you, you I, Boy, I'm using that word wrong. You are going to slow down. In DS, you are absolutely going to slow down, but when you do it, you're not going to um, form up. You're just gonna to continue to head east. So I suppose these things, yeah, I was gonna say, should be approaching those two ships that kind of, oh my gosh, what? Alarm, alarm. So we're gonna go north and try to save the carriers now instead. Always something. Now we absolutely can outrun these things. I mean, not full outrun, but just, uh, they should not be able to find us. I will go chase them though, even though it's just two battle cruisers, I think we can take them. How badly done are you? 
Well, you do have two flooding, which I'm not happy to see. I don't think that she's going to be able to do much for us. I mean, the only thing she could do is deploy smoke. You know what? Nobody's going to be able to do that with this group turning north, except for you, actually. So you guys are moving north now? Yeah, I know you want to do that, but I'm sorry. They will have to ditch. Not getting any reports, which is not amazing. There it is. Finally, something's happening. Where are these guys going? Okay, what is not ready here? Just ready everything. I feel like we should probably be just readying and attacking forever. Okay, I get it. You only have that many torpedo. Wait, what? So launch. Wait, if we have 13 torpedoes, then let's just get this group with 13 to ready. Oh, God, it happened again. Did it work? So you cannot ready, that's fine. None of you guys can ready. Okay, fine, fair enough. Now you can ready? Yes! We did it! Alright, now... What? Can we ready this as well? I don't understand. We'll just see what happens. Get a battle, battle cruiser. Oh! I need to like make sure that this is no. Oh yeah, it is here. So we do this. We click. Yeah, that's one of the battle cruisers. Just took a bomb hit. Well, that's something. It's not a lot, mind you, but it's something. Need you to go back this way as well to figure out what's going on here. Still, I'm kind of of the mind that these guys should not be turning and doing anything other than running away. Yeah, I think I'm very much of that mind. Okay, there they are again. We actually are starting to see them. Uh, you are still actually my best vessel remaining. Okay, she's opening fire. You guys will open fire as soon as you see the target, probably. You can't quite see it. Okay, let's go in now. Can I launch a strike? Lots of torpedo bombers left on on the Zug, on the big Z. Oh, good. Carl Donuts is uh, Carl Donuts getting revenge for all those bad hits she took. Ah, oh, this is a good line for us too. These are Valley Forges. Okay. Well, we'd be happy to sink these if it's possible. Might be a little bit aggressive for us doing this, but if we fight at maximum range, that should be using a lot of our deck armor. Oh man, what the flippity flip is going on? There's no end. We cannot defeat this group. We just cannot, there's too much. How do we do this? I mean, at least they're over here and not by our carriers. But honestly, it's this is a tough fight. There's no end. Like every time they try to break out, we just we bloody their nose, they turn back and we keep taking punches while it all happens. I think this is another uh, averted 
disaster. I don't know if it's a disaster. But they are pushing back. Now, this, I mean, does beg the question, what do we want to send to greet this? Okay, you guys are ready. That's a lot of torpedoes. Dive bombers. How many are we at? We have 15, sorry, 17 more. Well, we'll throw all the dive bombers as well. I think we're just throwing everything. The kitchen sink while we're at it. One dive bomber, sure. One torpedo bomber, well, okay, if you're ready. No escorts on this group, it's funny. Well, we cannot, oh, we can go up by 11, okay. Okay, well, let's prepare this strike. Where, where are they going, though? I mean, these guys are just all over the map. I think if we do something like this, it should be okay. There's gonna be something over there. <laughs> okay. He's out of vision, that's good. I mean, I don't understand, are you launching right now? What are you doing exactly? Okay, you're just gonna come over here and just basically keep track of them. I think we are going to kind of tease them here, or maybe just play a stupid game of chicken or something, I don't know. We don't want to lose track of them. Ah, we don't really care about losing track of them. We lost our battleship already, right? We don't really have an incentive to sit around and lose more. And they have so many ships. We have plenty of cap over the carriers. Not too worried on that front. You're gonna make it barely, but you will. You still have flooding of two. We'll take you down to six. I don't think that they're gonna. Uh, I don't think they're, they're going to discover you that far away. Well, my mouth is getting dry. It's gonna be hard to speak. I think it's almost time for us to call this video to a close. Ooh, are we pushing our luck a little bit too much here? Maybe. But at the same time, this is also going to be the way we monitor where their fleet is. Enemy aircraft are approaching Germany battle cruiser. Okay, that's how much light aircraft. Uh, okay, you have actually you're not too poorly equipped. Let's quickly tuck in. This will distract us from our mission for a moment while we wait for the battle cruisers and stuff to help defend. So 36, that's fantastic. Actually, a bomb does hit her still. No aircraft hit? Oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. I, I'm a little surprised by that. <laughs> Well, we got lucky. I mean, the bomb hit did not penetrate the... Well, I mean, not lucky. I mean, this is four inches of deck. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot. And now we are also approaching their stuff. Let's see what happens. One, uh, our, their air, combined air, air, <laughs> the air, anti-aircraft factor of two destroyed our aircraft. You gotta be kidding me. Our 36 didn't do anything. Maybe it just, when I see these numbers, maybe I just don't pay attention until the things are going against us, but that just doesn't seem right. Oh, they are swarming, though. Like a bunch of angry bees. Yeah, why is so much aircraft being damaged from... Aircraft factor of five. 
Okay, good. Finally, stuff is happening. Uns unsighted hit by a torpedo. Okay. This makes more sense to me. Here we go. We're just charging in pursuit behind this. <laughs> and a group of a uh, four, I, I mean a group of four angry battleships pursuing. Oh man, this is, this air power has truly become a thing. I mean, it is actually doing all the work for us right now. Oh, uh, I mean, it's not everything. I shouldn't say it that way because honestly, our battleships have done a lot of work on this, but I mean, it's about 50-50. It's just, they're both working very, very well together. Oh, this is wonderful. The CL, I don't think that's a CL, but if she is, she's dead. I think she's probably a battle cruiser. Another hit, and yeah, we're definitely going after these guys then. We're definitely going to pursue. We're going to send the destroyer down that way. Have you could just go east. I assume that you're not... Yeah. yeah, just have you guys go east. Start readying up anything else, which includes torpedo bombers, which is okay there. Uh, there's not a whole lot of torpedo bombers left, as you can see. We'll ready the few that are available. Ah, oh, good. An unsighted is hit by a torpedo. And we're going to pursue these guys now that... They have, uh, they've done this to themselves. They've made it so that we are angry. Yeah, this one's dead in the water. Let's cut off their retreat. So what do we have available right now? Not much. Dive bomber fighters continue to ready everyone. We're gonna get there though. Ah, it's a Valley Forge. She's going down. Amazing. It's another Valley Forge. She's not going down. Okay, well, we know who, who we want to focus our fire on. Yes. That actually has been hit by three torpedoes, though. I am a little bit surprised that she's... Please don't be the... Yes. I'm a little bit surprised that she's still going. But, wow. The Sturmbringer. Seeking revenge. Just... Oh, man. We've eliminated both of her rear turrets. Maybe we finally got one of those events where they lose both their turrets at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, we finally, we've caught up to her. And the Randolph is dead in the water over here. She is also sinking. We have this ranger who is lucky enough to get away. But how long would that luck hold for? Who knows? Yeah, things are really starting to swing in our favor. And, you know, tip of the hat. You have to give a tip of the hat. You have to really acknowledge the amazing presence that our Air Force has been. I mean, our Naval Air Force, our carrier naval aviation group uh they have just put in i mean they have probably turned this from a loss into a victory essentially snaring victory from the jaws of defeat we'll continue to ready everyone just because if given the chance we really would like to you know finish off a few more of these ships we have this destroyer coming to kind of cut off like the ranger Nice move, I think. She finally limited flooding. That means down to one? Yeah. She's not gonna make, I, that's actually possible for her, to, her, for her to make her back to port, but I'm gonna call this video too close here. So we have really, really, the seesaw has been just bouncing all over the place in this battle. Started off good, went bad, and probably just tottered between bad and very bad maybe neutral and then the aircraft came and at least put it back to neutral probably put it into our more to our side but they were still pursuing and this is what they get for pursuing so it's a i mean this is amazing this is one hell of a battle when this is done and i can breathe a sigh of relief i'll really appreciate it a lot more i, I know i will appreciate it so so until the next episode where we will bring this to a close thanks for watching and take care